Mill lost it at my baby shower and she insulted me tried to name my baby but ended up getting arrested after making a scene I am 29F married to my wonderful husband Gary and currently pregnant with our first child it's been a super exciting journey so far Gary and I have been together for a long time and got married four years ago we have been trying to get pregnant since last year and we overjoyed when we discovered my pregnancy six months ago we have navigated the ups and downs of life side by Side the news of a little one on the way has added a whole bunch of happiness to our relationship every day brings us a big closer to meeting our little nugget and we can't wait for me pregnancy has been a roller coaster of feelings from the thrill of finding out to those. Sweet moments when you can feel your baby start kicking your stomach Gary has been my rock throughout all of this he's been to every doctor's appointment we read parenting books together and he's even helping set up a cute. Nursery for our soon-to-arrive baby we're in full baby mode now talking about names decorating the nursery and making plans for the future Gary is super excited to be a dad and it warms my heart he's all in sharing the load of getting ready for the, the baby. We're facing the challenges and fun parts of pregnancy together enjoying every moment as we get ready to meet our little one two months back we decided it was time to share the exciting news about my pregnancy with our family we made sure we crossed the crucial first trimester milestone and were completely certain before spreading the joy to our loved ones we had invited all our parents close family and friends for lunch they arrived expecting a regular lunch but upon noticing my growing stomach there expressions shifted to expressions of joy and amazement my mother started crying when she saw me and confirmed that i was indeed pregnant she understood why we had kept the news secret and was overjoyed to be a grandmother soon she completely understood why we had kept it a secret and expressed her excitement about becoming a grandmother soon however Gary's mother Barbara had a completely different reaction instead of sharing in the joy she reacted angrily upon learning that we had kept the pregnancy hidden she felt left out and accused me specifically of intentionally excluding her despite my attempts to explain the reason behind our decision she continued to look pissed and refused to engage with me further her Disapproval cast a shadow over what should have been a joyful family occasion throughout the night Barbara didn't address me at all she displayed disrespect not only towards me but also towards my mother who had always been nothing but kind to her during their previous encounters Barbara remained unresponsive during discussions buried in her phone while everyone else engaged in the family gathering it was clear that she was upset and her discontentment was palpable she openly expressed to everyone how she had no idea about my pregnancy making her feel as if she had lost precious time with a grandchild who hadn't even been born yet my husband and one of his brothers picked up on her frustration as the tension escalated I reached a breaking point and decided to step out for a moment to gather myself my mother who noticed my distress came to comfort me until I felt composed enough to return as the night came to an end Barbara made a deliberate point of saying goodbye to me last after observing the disapproving stares from my husband's sister and parents the entire day she barely exchanged more than a hi and bye with me later my husband walked them to the car where they ended up having a heated argument which I could hear clearly standing. In the foyer Barbara took the opportunity to vent her complaints about me further escalating the strange situation thankfully all our guests had left by this moment so it was just me my parents Gary and his parents she angrily told him that she couldn't believe that I had the audacity to keep this pregnancy from her and that I did not consider family at all my husband calmly let her know that he and I had both decided to wait until we were out of the danger zone and that everything was fine. Before sharing the news with everyone hearing this Barbara started yelling this is how their conversation went Barbara this is our grandchild we're talking about I deserve to know from the very beginning Gary mom it's not about deserving or not it was a decision we made together she just wanted to be cautious Barbara cautious I am her mother-in-law she should have trusted me with this this is all her fault this is when my husband lost his temper up until this point he had held himself back but when he heard his mother continue to accuse me I watched his face get red in anger he firmly told his mother that he didn't want to tell her as well so if she was blaming me she should blame him as well he continued to tell her that she needed to get over this and stop overreacting Barbara told him that he should open his eyes as he was letting me control everything and as his mother she should have been the first to know if her son was having a grandchild my husband stood his ground and asked her to stop attacking me and that he loved her but she needed to leave and cool off before saying something she would later regret as Barbara stormed away leaving my husband standing there visibly frustrated and disappointed with his Mother's reaction I was unaware of the tears streaming down my face the sharpness of her words had left me hurt and bewildered Gary quick to notice my distress rushed to comfort me and gently guided me back into the house my parents sensing the tension graciously 
Stayed back until I felt emotionally composed and reassured Barbara didn't just stop there later that night I received a message from her and my anxiety heightened anticipating the content her message read I must say I am deeply disappointed in you you knowingly kept a significant piece of information from me and I find it absolutely unforgivable I can't believe you would rob me of the joy of knowing about my grandchild from the very beginning this is not how a family should operate and I find it disrespectful and hurtful instead of apologizing to me for your immature action you are now causing a divide between me and my son shame on you her words cut through me and I couldn't help but feel a mix of anger and hurt I showed the message to Gary and he was beyond pissed he couldn't fathom why his mother would react so negatively and place the blame squarely on me Gary decided to call her warning her not to send such negative messages as it might distress me further he even went as far as to threaten to cut her off if this behavior continued Gary's words and his angry tones seemed to have an impact on Barbara faced with the possibility of being cut off she changed her tune instead of acknowledging her own role. In the conflict she proposed a solution she claimed the only way she could forgive us for what she perceived as a slight was if we allowed her to throw us a baby shower this sudden turn of events left us both surprised and skeptical about her motives she continued to. Plead how nothing would bring her more joy than to throw a grand celebration for me and her grandchild where she would be taking care of everything Gary looked at me curious but I remained skeptical with the sudden change in her. Voice to me Barbara's sudden change of heart seemed more like a tactical move to regain control and assert her dominance rather than a genuine attempt at reconciliation despite my reservations Gary always wanting to find a middle ground and keep the peace entertained the idea of accepting her offer I expressed my concerns to Gary stressing that. Accepting her offer might only fuel her belief that her behavior was acceptable Gary understood my perspective but told me that he hoped that by allowing his mother to throw a baby shower for me could be a way for us to mend fences and create a more harmonious family environment before the baby arrived I begrudging agreed and Gary informed his mother to go ahead with the planning for my baby shower she was overjoyed and expressed her gratitude for allowing her to take charge despite entrusting her with. A responsibility I had assumed there would be some level of collaboration where she would seek my input and consider my preferences for my own baby shower with the event still a month away I anticipated more detailed planning to unfold. In the coming week however to my dismay I discovered that my mother-in-law had gone rogue she took it upon herself to purchase all the decorations choose the games and plan activities without insulting anyone including me when my mother reached out to her to discuss. The baby shower my mother-in-law simply informed her that everything had been decided and that it would be a surprise for me the lack of communication and consideration left me feeling disheartened and frustrated as the event me to celebrate a joyous occasion was now being shaped without any regard for my preferences or wishes on the day of my baby shower the air was filled with a mix of excitement and tension I arrived at the venue a local banquet hall surrounded by my close friends who were eager to celebrate the upcoming arrival of our little one as I walked and I couldn't help but notice the outrageous decorations that my mother-in-law had chosen a sea of brown and beige balloons adorned every corner depicting a theme. That was entirely her creation I absolutely hated the decoration as this looked like a misguided attempt at a safari theme gone wrong the overwhelming presence of brown and beige clashed with the vibrant atmosphere I had envisioned for the celebration I had. Imagine soft pastels and delicate touches for my baby shower but clearly my mother-in-law had gone the opposite way the tension in the air escalated when my eyes fell upon an eye-catching display near the entrance an enormous banner. Featuring an elaborate collage of my husband's baby pictures with Barbara everyone looked at it confused as we couldn't understand why she would choose to display my husband's baby pictures during my baby shower I looked at her questioningly and she laughed it off saying that she expected our baby to look exactly like my husband and she was very proud of how cute my husband was as a child hence she wanted to display it for everyone I stared at her trying to comprehend if she had actually lost her mind it was clear that she was determined to make the day more about her own experiences as a mother than about the imminent addition to our family as more guests began to arrive their expressions ranged from confusion to polite discomfort looking around the Room the sea of brown and beige balloons coupled with the towering banner showcasing my mother-in-law and my husband created an ambience that was far from the elegant and joyous atmosphere I had envisioned for my baby shower I exchanged. Apologetic glances with some of my friends who clearly shared my sentiment when my mother walked in her eyes widened in shock observing the absolute horror that my mother-in-law had unleashed upon the venue her eyes then locked onto the banner and I could sense her. 
Disbelief at the audacity of showcasing a collage that instead of celebrating my baby's arrival seemed more like an exhibition of my husband's childhood in a bold move my mother walked over to the banner her expression shifting from. Disbelief to determination without uttering a word she firmly grabbed hold of the banner decisively removing it from its prominent display the room fell silent and all eyes turned toward my mother as she carried away the intrusive display that overshadowed the Celebration I couldn't help but feel a surge of gratitude toward my mother for her unwavering support my mill who was busy talking to other guests looked in horror watching my mother throw the banner into the dustbin in a disapproving tone she asked what do you think you're doing that banner was a special touch to celebrate the baby and the family my mother undeterred by the disapproval responded with a firm yet composed voice this celebration is about my daughter and her baby not a showcase of your personal achievement the guests around them were drawn to this unexpected confrontation my mill sensing the attention shift tried to regain control of the situation well i thought it would be nice for everyone to know who's responsible for this beautiful event as i was responsible for throwing this lovely event i wanted everyone to see how cute gary was as a child she retorted attempting to mask her annoyance undeterred my mother continued barber you begged my daughter to Allow you to throw this baby shower for her after how you behaved with her last time. This is my daughter's baby shower and not a platform for your personal agenda or attempt to steal the spotlight. The room hushed as the exchange unfolded with guests glancing at each other in discomfort. My mill realizing that her attempt to dictate the narrative had backfired retreated with a forced smile and returned to her conversations with other guests. The baby shower continued after that with me trying my best to focus on the positive energy for my friends and family despite the tension that was lingering throughout the event I thought there would be no other surprises from my mill who seemed to be drinking a little too much for a baby shower but there was nothing that I could tell her anyway we played various party games and the guests seemed to be slowly starting to enjoy themselves then it was time for the gift opening session and I was pleasantly surprised by everyone's thoughtful gift for my baby however my anticipation turned into Bewilderment as my mother-in-law handed me a conspicuously large gift box with an exaggerated G on her face the room fell silent and I felt a mixture of embarrassment and frustration my mother looked at her angrily the guests exchanged awkward glances unsure of how to react to this unexpected turn of events in an attempt to diffuse the tension and not create any more tension I mustered a weak smile and thanked her for the thoughtful gift all the while suppressing the urge to roll my eyes the Situation escalated further when it was time for the cake cutting ceremony my mother-in-law had ordered an extravagant tiered cake with over-the-top decorations she made a big show of it clinking her glass to make everyone look at her I was starting to get pretty annoyed wondering what she was up to now we all looked at her curiously and waited for her to speak Barbara then announced that she had come up with the perfect name for our baby girl I froze hearing her words keep in mind that we Hadn't even settled on a name ourselves, she proudly declared that the baby would be named after her great-grandmother with a name that seemed straight out of a Victorian novel. I was shocked and a little irritated that she assumed she had the naming rights I stepped in. Politely explaining that my husband and I wanted to pick our baby's name together, it was a choice we wanted to, to make his parents. However, my mother-in-law wasn't having any of it, she insisted that she had the perfect name and if... I was a good daughter-in-law, I should accept it since she had spent so much money on the baby shower I was shocked at her sense of entitlement I firmly stated that only my husband and I had the right to name our baby and regardless of who hosted the baby shower. This decision was ours alone that's when Mill started yelling at me in front of everyone claiming I was extremely disrespectful and should be grateful for all she'd done she went on to criticize my upbringing insisting that I should be. Thanking her instead of den ing her the right to name the baby Barbara grew increasingly aggressive pointing her fingers at my face my mother stepped in standing in front of me as a shield Barbara continued to shout asserting herself as the actual mommy of my baby since she gave birth to my husband and it was his sperm that impregnated me her words were truly disgusting to hear despite my mom's attempt to stop Barbara's nasty comments she just got angrier she kept on insulting me and said my Mom did a terrible job raising me it was clear she had too much to drink and trying to talk sense into her was pointless the whole situation was getting worse making everyone uncomfortable slowly realizing the escalating situation I decided I had. Endured enough humiliation trying to salvage some dignity I decided to walk out with the gifts my friends had generously brought leaving behind the present that my mill had got me however Barbara in her intoxicated state snatched the gifts back from my hand and tossed them to the ground accusing me of being ungrateful and a witch who was coming between her and her son the tense atmosphere drew more attention and I noticed some people starting to film the incident in an effort to contain the chaos I asked one of my 
Close friends to politely request people to leave the event Barbara undeterred continued hurling nasty accusations at me creating a scene that no one could have anticipated when they arrived for what was supposed to be a joyous. Occasion frustration turned to anger and as a last resort I decided to call the cops to remove her from my vicinity as I was starting to feel extremely unsafe with her aggressive behavior yep you read that right I had to involve the police at my own baby. Shower because of my toxic mill when the officer showed up Barbara went into full drama mode pointing fingers at me and painting me as the mastermind behind the chaotic event the cops thankfully were understanding and attempted to reason with. Her however being drunk mill resisted their efforts and even started yelling at the police which didn't work in her favor the situation escalated to the point where she was arrested on the spot I left the event with my mother and close friends all of us. Shaken up by the unsettling incident since this incident my husband and I have been dealing with the fallout mill is on a full-blown guilt trip playing the victim card and garnering sympathy from some family members who were not present at the baby shower is they don't live in the same city my husband although he understands why I called the cops thinks I took it a bit too far he believes that I could have called him or his father for help so reddit Ida for calling the cops on my mill for ruining my baby shower and pretending to be the actual mommy of the baby. Update 1 I am overwhelmed with the response I have received since deciding to post about my baby shower I would like to thank everyone for supporting my decision to call the cops I had never witnessed such an aggressive reaction from my mill before given that I usually only saw her during holidays when I never spent a lot of time with her the level of aggression she displayed at the baby shower left me genuinely concerned about the possibility of physical harm especially considering the potential impact on my unborn child since the incident every guest who attended the baby shower has reached out to express their support some of them have even shared recordings of the entire debacle which i intend to show to my husband my plan is to have a serious conversation with my husband in the coming weekend about the future with his mother update to i showed the recording to my husband as mentioned earlier my husband and i found ourselves sitting down for a serious conversation about the events that had transpired I explained to him in detail how his mother's behavior had escalated throughout the entire ordeal from the hidden pregnancy revelation to the outrageous baby shower I described in detail the yelling accusations and bizarre gifts she presented I then share the recordings with him which my husband watched visibly horrified watching the videos seemed to bring a reality check for him making him confront the uncomfortable truth about his mother's actions he started to apologize to me sincerely for underestimating the severity of the situation and act know that I was right in calling the cops I had no idea it got this bad I'm so sorry you had to go through all that he expressed his face reflecting both regret and frustration he admitted that he had never imagined his mother could be this toxic as this seemed so out of character for her he reassured me that he was on my side and emphasized that my safety and well-being especially during pregnancy were his top priorities we then delved into the underlying issues discussing how his mother's need for control and validation had overshadowed what should have been a joyous occasion Gary grappling with the reality of his mother's actions shared his own concerns about her behavior and acknowledged that her behavior had crossed a line I told him that after how his mother had behaved with me in front of everyone I wanted to cut all ties with her I continued to tell him that he could have a relationship with her if he wanted but me and our child would not be a part of her life at least until his mother went for counseling to deal with her aggressive behavior hearing this Gary expressed that what his mother had done was beyond disgusting and he was willing to cut ties. With her as well I assured him that he did not have to do any such thing but my husband insisted that his mother dared to disrespect me hence she did not have the right right to be in our lives anymore he understood that this behavior by his mother was not just about the baby shower but might have been a culmination of long-standing issues moving ahead Gary has reassured me that he will personally communicate our decision to his mother making it clear that cutting her off from our lives is entirely his choice I have also asked him to warn her that if she decides to show up unexpectedly at our doorstep to force me to accept her back in our lives then I will be forced to call the cops on her again update 3 it's been a Months since my last update to everyone asking me and the baby are doing okay, I can't wait to meet my child very soon as the date approaches since my last update we have ceased all communication with Barbara Gary had a conversation with his parents and his father. Assured him that he would take the necessary steps to ensure that my mill understands the boundaries we've set and respects our decision in the aftermath of cutting ties with Barbara our lives have experienced a noticeable shift the absence of constant drama and toxicity has brought about a newfound sense of peace and tranquility in our household Gary and I are now able to focus on preparing for the arrival of our baby without the looming cloud of Barbara's disruptions the support we 
received from friends and family has been invaluable during this challenging time. My parents and my close friends have been pillars of strength, offering their encouragement and understanding. Even some family members who were initially unaware of the extent of Barbara's behavior have come forward to express their support after witnessing the shocking events at the baby shower through the videos that have now gone viral. Our journey is far from over, but this experience has strengthened our bond and highlighted the importance of facing challenges together as a united front. The decision to sever ties with Barbara was not made lightly, but it has proven to be a necessary step for our well-being. While there may be lingering challenges, we are optimistic about the positive changes this choice has brought into our lives as we eagerly await the arrival of our little one. We are determined to build a loving and supportive family environment that prioritizes the well-being of both parents and child. Waiting for your opinion in the comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Eric is in a new story.